Hey everyone, welcome back to Rose's Year of One and to Vlogmas. I am uploading a video every single day between the 1st and the 24th of December to count down to Christmas. So if you've missed any of that, there is plenty for you to catch up on and plenty more to come. Today we are doing the next update for my 2021 Project 10 Pan. I do just want to say before I start, I had my steamer on. I was steaming my dress because I am going out as soon as I finish filming this. So yeah, if you hear little puffs in the background, it sounds like, you know, there's a sleeping dragon somewhere. It's my steamer. But that aside, let's get into the progress that I have made on my Project Pan items. We will start with the most exciting one. This lip gloss is done. So you might be able to see in the cutaways I had a bit of a disaster. I took the stopper out but instead of taking it out I actually managed to drop it down on the inside. So I've used up every single bit of this that I could get to. This was my fourth lip gloss in the project. So this is now the fourth lip gloss that has left my collection in 2021 because it has been actually used up which is so exciting because I'm not a lip gloss person ironically despite the fact I have far too many of them so the idea of reducing my collection through actual usage rather than decluttering is just such a novelty and I'm so so proud of it. So spoiler alert for my November empties. I think because I was using up the lip gloss I haven't made quite as good progress on this as I was hoping to. These are the remnants of my MAC Viva Glam Cindy Lauper lipstick that entered the project in its bullet got used down and then we scraped it out so this is what's left. You'll see in the comparison to last month I have used it, I definitely have used it but I don't feel that I've made that much visible progress on it which is I'm a bit worried because I had really wanted to finish this up um, by the end of the project which I feel like now is not going to happen which is a bit disappointing but do you know what like this was a bullet lipstick at the start of this year it's now down to this so any further progress that I make in the project is great and this will definitely be finished in 2022 and that is the first time I will have ever used up a lipstick A down to the bullet and then B to actually have cleared it out past the bullet. Now I don't really like using it in this formula I much prefer just using the bullet so I'm not loving it at this point but I am so proud of how far I've come with this lipstick and I'm definitely going to see it through to the bitter end even if that is not, even if that doesn't happen within this project. Another bitter end that I will see through to even if it doesn't happen within this project is my pink blush from my Hourglass palette. So I have used it, I mean I've used this today but there's no real visible progress since I repressed it um, but I am actually going to put this into my 2022 project pan which you will see the intro of at some point during vlogmas so do watch out for that. If you like project pan content and you aren't like a regular subscriber of mine just to highlight I am also doing a 12 pans of Christmas project pan so uh, the first day of that went up on the first the second update for that I think went on the fifth so there is the intro and one update and there's another two updates to come for that so there is a 12 pans of Christmas project pan for you to watch as well if you are into project pan content but yeah so this is my pink blush no real progress that you can see but it will be in next year's project so hopefully next year we will get the goal smashed on this one. Another product within this palette again there's no real visible progress on this this is my hourglass dim light powder but I do not I'm sure that I will get this finished up in December because I have used it so I feel like I must have been like chiseling down what was at the side so hopefully what's left there should go a bit more quickly so I'm still hopeful that we will finish up dim light within the project so one month to go see if we can manage it. product that if you've been watching from the start we just skim over now. Liquid lipstick, don't know why I ever put a liquid lipstick in a project pan, never will again. 
no visible progress. Have definitely used it, used it in my October budget check-in and specifically said at the start of the video, I was like, look guys, just to prove I do use it. I do use it, but you never see any change. So that's that one. last lip product that is left in this project is my Sephora lip liner. I actually did use this but it didn't seem to go down at all. I didn't even make a new marking so yeah I thought this would have been done really easily within the project and it wasn't so another bit of a fail item but we're doing that thing now where so if this is your first time tuning in I've panned a primer, I've panned a highlight, I've panned an eyeshadow, panned three lip glosses so they've all left the project so this is now stuff that's we're coming to the end and it's a bit not sure if we're going to make our goals or not. I don't think we're going to finish this within a month but I made more progress on it through having it in this project than I would have done had it just been in my collection this year where I would have undoubtedly just ignored it. So there's that. My second blush in the project is my Tarte one and so I said I think in the last update I was going to try and expand this just to hit side pan and that would be um, my goal for the end of the project so I have done that and I've actually created like a new little baby pan up at the top so I'm not worried I definitely think I'll hit side pan by the end of the project this has been really satisfying this has been my favorite product in the project um, just in terms of the visual journey of this it's been so good to watch so I really hope you've enjoyed watching this one and we will have side pan by the finale I am positive Then the last product that I've got to update you on, which if you watch my Christmas gift guide, you will have seen no pan yet in my C note from my Morphe Making Bank palette. I still love this palette. I had this palette in my Christmas gift guide because I think it's a great palette. I love the shade. I've just never hit pan on it, despite using it so consistently. Um, I feel like I'll probably try and stay away from putting two eyeshadows in my project pans in future. Like. And just have one and just concentrate on it because I feel like I did get really into that warm taupe and I wanted that one first so I used that one more and I feel like we're now kind of coming to the end and I'm like is this gonna happen I'm not sure I'll continue to use it between now and the finale so we will see if it happens I'm not 100% sure but I love the palette I've loved spending this time with it this year so I have no regrets over putting it in but it would be very nice if I got a pan it would be a little Christmas miracle if we hit pan in this by the finale so fingers crossed it would be nice to happen but I'm not sure that it's 100% realistic at this point. my items that are now left at this point so this is the penultimate update and um, this is the 25th of November that I'm filming this on so my, my next video in this series will be the finale at the end of 2021 and as I've said I'm so pleased overall I panned the primer hit pan in the highlight hit pan in warm taupe and I panned three of the steel lip glazes this year so do you know what like as much like I was kind of getting ready to film this and I was a bit like oh I don't feel like I've got that many exciting things to report back on but like over the course of the year the dunt that doing this project has made yes I've still got far too much stuff so it's not 
that big in terms of the impact of my inventory but but in terms of my reverse rouge and looking at my makeup empties like my makeup empties are always the lowest of all my empties and there are more makeup products in my reverse rouge this year because of doing my project pans so I don't remotely regret it even if this update maybe hasn't been the most exciting and I don't know what the finale will hold but I'm, re I'm really really pleased with the progress I've made this year and I'm going to continue project panning next year so if you like project pan content make sure you're subscribed to my channel and as I said the 12 pans of Christmas has also gone live so I will link that up for you to have a watch of. Thank you very much for watching this one I hope you've enjoyed it even if it wasn't the most exciting and I will see you tomorrow for another video of Vlogmas. Bye.